G'day Paul here in, in New Zealand by a new sculpture in the garden, in the quarry gardens at Whangarei uh, in New Zealand where they wanted to have living sculptures put into the garden and so this man won the nomination to do the work and he's put logs on the ground, there's no foundation, it's just straight on the dirt so that in time the fungus, the normal natural fungus that cleans up the environment uh, will get into the logs and begin to rot them. And uh, you know what happens when they rot, there'll be a lot of pressure from that rock up there and it'll push the heap slowly to the ground. And it is estimated that it might take 70 years, which is about the lifespan of a man. So. I just thought there's a lovely parallel here. If we see this as uh, the lifespan of a man who is weighed down by sin and sickness and disease, but the rock is our salvation. In the Bible it says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And of course that rock is Jesus Christ. So if you hand your life over to him, he will take you past the death, past the grave, into eternal life. And what a way to go. You know, go with Jesus. Do you team up with Jesus and he will give you eternal life. And you won't be just ground into the dirt as a part of nature, but you will be elevated and raised from the dead and you'll have an eternal life. Jesus also says, he says, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So if you're burdened with anything, take it to the Lord. Say, Jesus, help me. I feel burdened. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive you of your sins. And then you can go on marching on with him into eternity. So there's a little Bible study from the sculpture in the quarry gardens in Whangarei, New Zealand. You have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon.